Hey, welcome everybody, RPG ID 2022, this is question 7 and uh, probably some of you have saw the question 7 I've already made but the quality is bad <laughs> since I've pre-recorded them live and for some reason, you know, it it kind of messed up so uh, this is a new problem <laughs> so I have to figure out how it's done so I'm doing it the old-fashioned way with a different decor, I'm outside Something cool about a game system that I like, uh, that I appreciate. This is the today's question. Um, I would like to talk to you about Savage Worlds. Savage Worlds is one of my top system. I'm really looking forward to try. J just didn't have enough of it. I did play it a little bit three years ago, and uh, I'm looking forward maybe to in the future. Okay, start something with that. Uh, there are many features of that game that I really enjoy, um, but I, one of those that gets me really excited is the initiative system. Yeah, I really love to run initiative with a deck of cards, because that's how it's done. Regular deck of cards, you, 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 you mix them, you, and then you give a card to everyone, okay? Every player characters receive a card, every, well, groups of and PCs will receive a card if it's a a boss you know he will receive his own card so uh, it goes in order of the cards it will go from the higher cards to the lowest and uh, the symbols which I don't remember the order but there's an order in the symbol meaning that there will be no one uh, playing at the same time this is something exciting the other, the other thing that I like about this initiative system is that you redo it at every round. It's not fixed like, let's say, Dungeons and Dragons, where you have the same initiative over and over again up to the end of the combat. So every round you are dealt a new card. So your initiative order will be won't be the same. So it, it well, I remember the feeling, you know, how exciting it was to run combat like that because it was wild right so uh, yeah but uh, the, the thing that will change the rule are the jokers yeah if you are dealt a joker well you're in luck because you decide where you want to play into the round so yeah you have really the decision let's say a an npc is about to do something you can say no I go before him okay you you can decide where you are in the initiative and over that you have plus two into whatever you're trying to do and I think even the damage maybe I'm uh, getting this wrong but their plus two just for the dice roll is huge because uh, usually you have to roll a four so plus two means a lot and after a joker was dealt well you take all of the cards and the discard and you you kind of remake a no, whole new deck but uh, as long as there are no jokers you know new cards are always dealt so this is a very exciting way to run initiative and i was looking maybe to uh, export that to other games uh, i know that in true 20 they mention a uh, initiative with the deck of card which i never tried finally but uh, it could have been easy to put that into uh, True 20 and exactly with the same rules, with the Joker giving a plus two to whatever you are trying to do, which would have been very cool. So yeah, that was my today's answer. So we'll see each other tomorrow for the next RPG. Day. See you, bye.